Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. My new setting for uh, today and uh, <laughs> tomorrow is going to be another one because we keep moving. Uh, we have to be a moving target. <laughs> so I have an article here, actually two, coming from uh, one from Ukrainska Pravda, one from um, Sputnik regarding Bakhmut uh, and uh, a general um, update from the Ukrainian front. It's very interesting that in the few in the past few days there were they the free mass media and the Ukrainians, which now is part of the free mass media, just like this, uh, start started saying that uh, the Russians lost steam in uh, Bakhmut, and that uh, now they're just going to uh, regroup or something. Well, <laughs> this is another article where they say actually it's not so, and it's coming from the Ukrainians. They say that actually the Ukraine, the Russians are advancing and uh, they're attacking north and south of Bakhmut. So I don't know about the steam thing, but uh, let's see what they inform us, or at least uh, what they give us here. So this article, as I said, uh, one of them comes from Ukrainska Pravda and the other one comes from uh, the Sputnik, where they give you the front. This is from... Um, yesterday actually uh, it depends how you want to take it uh, this is right now is the 23rd of March and this is from the 22nd so the same let's see here uh, fierce ba fierce battles in south and north of Bakhmut Russia advances on Avdivka and Marinka general staff report so the Russians as they say show here this is Bakhmut right here attack like this and obviously they want to pin like encircle it but it has been happening for some time already they got they still advance here advance in and then go around it so if we go on this map and I go to Avdivka which is the Russian Artemovsk right here you see how this north and south they advance and they go so far they're going to probably encircle the even Shasiv by the Ukrainian Shasov by the uh, Russians and they don't even have to do anything with Bakhmut they just encircle it here to move on and this guy's gonna stay there until they starve. So let's see what the Russians say about Bakhmut. Jan Gagin, advisor to the DPR's acting head Denis Pushilin, said that all access roads to Artemusk are under the control of Russian artillery. I gotta tell you that this happened before. Uh, under the control. They were shooting us. So any, anything that goes this way, they can shoot it. Well, that's been before as well. So let's go and see uh, what the Ukrainians are telling us in this article. The, the fiercest... Oh, and Marinka and Avdivka. Yes, how about that? Marinka and Avdivka are a little bit south, right here. Avdivka and Marinka. Uhledar, I see it's all gone here. Used to be the same as active combat here. You see, this guy is going to use, use the same tactic. Yes, say Avdivka. Fighting is taking place on the city's outskirts. The same thing happened. Uh, it's been like this for a week or two. The same, let's say, Marinka. Fighting is taking place in the western part of the city. The same thing. Last one week, we one week and a half, they didn't uh, change the uh, update here. They didn't update this. So let's go back to the Ukrainians. The fiercest battles continue in the southern and northern part of Bakhmut, the one that I... Uh, showed you and Russia continues to advance on Avdivka and Marinka. So this is uh, the, over the course of the day the Ukrainian Air Force force struck a Russian anti-aircraft missile system and delivered 12 strikes on clusters of Russian personnel and military equipment. The Russian Federation continues its armed aggression against Ukraine focusing its main efforts on attempts to completely seize Donetsk and Luhansk Oblast within the administrative borders. The Russians continue to conduct offensive actions on the Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka, Marinka and Shakhtarsk fronts. So those are this right here where you see the black AK-47, pam, 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 this area. This is uh, Luhansk, this is Donetsk. Donetsk. Okay, so the fiercest battles are taking place in the southern parts of Bakhmut. And the invaders also condu conducted offensive actions on the Avdivka front to establish control over Avdivka and Marinka. The Russian aggressor, aggressor continues to use its usual tactics of terror. Okay, we're going to skip that uh, because, you know, they all say that. During the day, the Russians launched a missile attack on Zaporozhye, as a result of which two Russian missiles hit a multi-residential okay, and people, civilians again. 
the Russians also, also carried out 41 airstrikes. In particular, the occupiers used 21 Shahid-136 UAVs from uh, Bryansk Oblast of the Russian Federation. So that is in the north, Bryansk. This is Bryansk right here. So they say, the Ukrainians say that the Russians used from Bryansk to Zaporozhye. What did I read here? Something I read wrong. Okay, so that they struck 41 airstrikes and in particular they used 21 to uh, uh, hit from Bryansk Oblast. So 21 came from here, from Bryansk. But the Russians that does, do not show anything on the map. It just shows the Ukrainians doing something. Let's see what the Ukrainians did. Uh, governor of Bryansk reported that the US, uh, Ukraine Air Force drone attacked the village. There were no casualties, fires. Again, five residential buildings were damaged. Then only residentials, no military dies anywhere. So the same thing says the drones attacked the uh, oil pumping station of the Druzhba pipeline. There were no casualties. Infrastructure. All right, and 16 of which were shot down. The Ukrainians claim from the 21, 16 were shot down. As a result of the invaders UAV strikes, the Russians hit the territory of of a dormitory of a vacational college. Okay, the invaders also carried out more than 30 attacks using multiple launch racket systems. Now they start uh, from Vol Volin, Polizia, Siberschina and Slobo Zachinia fronts. The operational situation has not changed significantly. So what the Ukrainians, uh, Ukrainian update uh, will go starting with uh, Chernihiv Oblast and then go a little bit uh, towards uh, uh, east Sumy and then go Kharkiv, uh, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporozhye and Kherson. That's how they're going to do um, their update. So now they're saying about the northern part, that nothing changed, they say, not changed significantly and no Russian offensive groups have been detected. The Russian lead leadership continues to use the infrastructure of Belarus to train its troops. The occupiers maintain a military presence in the border areas. During the day, the Russians fired in and around the settlements of, this is in Chernihiv Oblast, Sumy Oblast, and Kharkiv Oblast. They, so the Russians are just shelling this part, this part, and this part. I don't see anything here for the, uh, how do you call them, the Russians. What happened here? Zitomir, that's kind of far. All right, so it says that uh, the, the drone attack damaged the region's infrastructure. There was no casu casualties or wounded. Great, okay. Good, good, good. Let's move back here. On the Kupiansk and Liman fronts, now they're going uh, to this area right here. The Russians continue to try to break Ukrainian, Ukrainian defense. They conducted unsuccessful offensive in the area of Makivka and Bilohorivka, the settlements of blah, blah, blah in Kharkiv Oblast and then in Donetsk and uh, Luhansk came under Russian fire artillery uh, artillery fire. So let's talk about this area right here. Where you see the, on the map, the yellow ones is are where the Russians allegedly uh, destroy UAVs, Ukrainian UAVs, where you have uh, the red ones, is the, where the Russians hit something on the Ukrainian side, where you see the, the black AKs here. These are where the face-to-face -face fights occur. Now, this is going to be bad because Kupiansk was evacuated. They, uh, the Ukrainians evacuated the children, at least, from Kupiansk. I think they're going to evacuate everybody else because this sh uh, seems to go around here. This is where the Russians probably shot down an airplane. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, shot down a Ukrainian Mi-8 helicopter. And here, these are drones. Let's see what's happening here in the north where the Ukrainians say that Nothing changed, all right? This is uh, just artillery fire, but Ukraine, Russia says, that, said that, let's see what happened here. So forces of the Zapad group struck UAF troops and military equipment in the course of combat operation using artillery airstrikes. Okay, here, the same thing. Here, it's the same. Yeah, the same thing, they just, uh, use artillery so it matches what the Ukrainians said. In the, on the Bakhmut front, the Russians continue to conduct offensive actions, however their offensive potential is decreasing. The invaders do not stop trying to capture the city, losing a significant amount of manpower, weapons and military equipment. 
Ukrainian defenders have been repelling numerous Russian attacks around the clock in the areas of Bakhmut, Bohdanivka and Predechnya. A series of settlements near the contact line came under Russian fire. Now move down south a little bit from Bakhmut, Avdivka, Marinka, Shakhtarsk. These are... Uh, so Bakhmut was right here with the Artemos. Now we move to this area right here. This is Donetsk and here is Zaporozhye Oblast. So on the Avdivka, Marinka, Shakhtarsk fronts, the Russian conducted offensive actions in the areas of bam 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 but to no avail in particular avdivka vodian karlivka vukhledar in donetsk oblast came under russian fire we moved to the to zaporozhia and kherson these are the lowest the, <coughs> the south so here this is zaporozhia this is kherson nothing really uh, here again the ukrainians uh, got some drones shot down the Russians hit some targets across the Dnipro, is it, no, Dnipro is right here, across the, whatever the line, uh, contact line is. Here again, nothing from the Russians, but for only bombardments or shells from, shellings from the Ukrainians, the blue ones. And what did they do? And all this are the Russians, let's see. Russian forces hit two UAF hangars with weapons and military equipment in the territory of the Skol, Skolny airfield. Okay, and back to the Ukrainians. The invaders are on the defensive on the Zaporozhye and Kherson front. They don't do anything but just, you know, bombardments, shelling left and right. A number of settlements located near the contact line came under fire, including pop, 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 in Zaporozhye Oblast and in the Kherson. The Russian occupying forces set up a military hospital in the building of a kindergarten. Okay, see, that's why I don't really read these things because they are saying things that I really do not believe. Not that they're not, uh, it's, uh, you know, um, I'm pretty sure it happens both ways and I, it's like extra, 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 and uh, they want over there just to, uh, um, I don't know, how should I put it, move sympathy for us and uh, criminal the other side. But anyway, so the poor kids have no more kindergarten and after they probably abducted them and sent them to Moscow for Putin's uh, enjoyment and uh, made a military hospital to treat their criminals. That's what you need to get out of that. So yes, Marinka, Avdivka, the Russians advancing, and in Bakhmut, um, north and south, they say, well, they attack with no avail. Well, they don't attack, they don't need to. They, what I think they do, they just keep them busy by the river that uh, divides the Ukrainian side and the Russian side. And then what they do, they go around north, south, go to Ivanchev or whatever Ivan Nuke is, a little village west, about five miles west of Bakhmut. They're going to close over there. Or maybe they go to Shasir, uh, Shasir Yar, I think it's called. Yeah. And uh, close over there, surround them and keep them over there until they come out with their hands up or, I don't know, advance uh, to be shot or <laughs> kill themselves. What are the options? They think the NATO helicopter is going to come and pick them up. Well, hope and illusion, uh, they have no uh, room on this planet. But hey, let them be. Let them do whatever they want. Unfortunately, they still have that uh, order not to uh, leave Bakhmut. I don't think that pretty soon they will be able to leave Bakhmut. And uh, they will die as heroes okay instead of retreating and finding another day it's like uh, you know you, you fight pam 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 and you got punched a few times and oh i'm dying here no i mean retreat regroup and uh, re-attack you reassess, reassess the situation use another technique you know use another tactic but i think uh, i don't think they can uh, withdraw anymore all right well thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just